Earth's magnetic field protects us from things like solar radiation and charged particles from the sun, but it's gradually getting weaker, and scientists don't know why. Joining us with more is the director of the Alan Carswell Observatory, Dr. Paul Delaney. Great to have you here. Um, just before we get started, our viewers may know this about you already. You always wear a tie that is themed to our discussions. <laughs> Are you wearing one today? I am indeed. I, I was trying to find one that was most appropriate. I didn't have one that had the magnetic field showed. So you're, you're stuck with just planets in general. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, over the last 200 years, the European Space Agency reports that Earth's magnetic field has weakened by 9%. But there's an area where the problem is severe. It's called the South Atlantic Anomaly. What can you tell us about that? And, and what are the effects of this? So the region in question is from the northern portion of South America, stretching across the Atlantic into Africa. Uh, and the main problem is that the magnetic field of our planet is relatively weak there because the center of the magnetic field is set away from that region. If you think of the Earth as a big sphere and you put a nice dot in the middle of that sphere, that's where the rotation axis passes. But the magnetic axis passes a few hundred kilometers away from that, away from South America, meaning that the magnetic field that we're generating inside our planet is weakest there. And that has the problem that the Van Allen radiation belts, full of charged particles, are a lot closer to the surface. And that means, of course, we have problems as far as satellites and people are concerned all because the magnetic field is weakest at that location. Well, let's dig into that a little bit. Specifically, what, what kind of issues are we going to experience here on Earth? And what does that mean in terms of, you know, human and health and safety? Well, it's not a big influence at this point in time. Charged particles, of course, are not good for you. Okay, you do not want to be bombarded by high-speed electrons, protons, and other ions. That's not good for any life form. So the magnetic field of our planet tends to create a huge bubble or a cushion around us that deflects away most of this charged particle. Some of it does leak in and gets caught in the Van Allen radiation belts, but very little gets to the surface of the Earth. That's a good thing. But if the magnetic field weakens continuously, in fact, if the magnetic field turned off, that would really be bad news. As long as we have any measure of magnetic field, even a weakened field, it protects us in large measure from these dangers from space. It's if the magnetic field turns off that you and I really have a problem. Uh, Dr. Delaney, this sounds like a plot line from Marvel. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish I could make it up. <laughs> so troubling that scientists don't know why this is happening, um, but are there any theories that could possibly explain what's going on? Oh, there's, there's lots of speculation, and, and we have a bit of a handle on why the magnetic field weakens, because, in fact, the magnetic field reverses every few hundred thousand years. If you go back through the geologic record, you can actually map out the Earth's magnetic field as a function of time really easily. And we know that the poles, our north and south poles, magnetically flip every, on average, 500,000 years. Your next question is probably, when was the last one? 780,000 years ago. So is the current measurement of the weakening of the field something that suggests that we're about to go through a reversal? The problem here is that the mechanism that generates our magnetic field uh, and why it reverses is a random type of event. It doesn't happen periodically. So you can't really say that this weakening is a precursor to the actual reversal. It might be, but it probably isn't. Dr. Delaney, always good to see you as we say goodbye to you. Could you hold up your tie just so we could see it as we go? <laughs> Take care. Can't wait to Have a good week. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.